advertising extensively that Australia is both a good place to do business, a good place to live and a good place to holiday. Question number two, the Leader of the Opposition, David Thank Chief. you, Mr Speaker. Uh, to the Prime Minister, does he think his government is, quote, still on track? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. The Leader of the Opposition. Is he satisfied that there are only five countries with the worst record in the rate of increase of unemployed numbers, and that they include Greece, Spain and Ireland? And if not, doesn't he think it's time to change track? The right, right Honourable Prime Speaker, Minister. Speaker, um, well, as the member will have heard in answer to the uh, question number one, no, I don't think it's time to change uh, track. And, uh, tack. and then secondly, Mr Speaker, um, that's coming from a completely different base. But, but, but Mr Speaker... But let, let's just understand. Let's just understand whether the following would do anything in terms of economic growth, and that would be to ban sea mining for minerals, oil, and gas, ban fracking, a tax on aquaculture, ban all coal mining, and a mineral export tax. That's a remit at the Labor Party conference this week. The leader of the opposition. Hey, Mr. Speaker, is he said? Is he satisfied that under his government there has been an 80% increase in numbers of unemployed, more than twice the rate of Australia? And if so, does he think it's time to change track? The right old Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no. Um, of, course, of course we're not satisfied when someone loses their job, but let's understand what's happening in Australia. In, in Western Australia, last time I looked, it may have changed in the last few weeks, the growth rate in Western Australia was 14.5%. The growth rate in, in Northern Queensland, where mining is, is substantially active, was 9.5%. In fact, there's been a recession on the east coast of Australia for quite some time. So let's ask the following question. Can you run a mining operation if you have a minerals export tax going through the roof? We have a point ban of order, on coal order, mining. Point of order, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister's job and Minister's jobs job is to answer the question, not start asking them in the middle of question time. Now, I thought you would have stopped them when he said that. Let's ask ourselves a question. Well, that's our job at the moment, and his job is to get up there and precisely and tersely answer the question. The member's, uh, the member's point is, is reasonably made, except in so far as the question did ask whether the Prime Minister believed that given certain events it was time to change track, and the Prime Minister was identifying possibilities of changing track that he don't believe, didn't believe would work, but the member is correct. He shouldn't be, it shouldn't be posed as a question because ministers are meant to answer questions, but I think the Prime Minister had finished, hadn't he? I'll give him a brief... Speaker, the parts of the Australian economy that are booming are the parts of the economy that are related to mining. And at the Labor Party conference, they want to ban mining and they want to join forces with the Green Party that want to ban mining. And I'll bet you Damien O'Connor doesn't go down there on the West Coast. The Prime Minister has no responsible responsibility for Damien O'Connor, the Leader of the Opposition. Mr Speaker, does he, does he stand by his statement, quote, while unemployment remains high, it is absolutely critical that we provide young people with adequate development opportunities. If we don't, we risk diminishing the potential of an entire generation of New Zealanders, and I won't accept that. And if so, why have the number of modern apprenticeships dropped by 2,500 since he made that statement? Yeah, the right on. Mr Speaker, firstly, I, I can't accept the member's number because I don't know whether it's correct or not in the way they measure And history of this House indicates that numbers that come from that side are not always accurate. But there are just under 7,500 fees-free youth guarantee places at tertiary institutions at the moment. There are 2,800 fees-free places and 43 trade services. There are over 10,000 fee-free places for 16- and 17-year-olds. A great deal of work has been done when it comes to young people. Point of order, the leader of the order, point of order, the leader of the Speaker, opposition. Speaker, that uh, question directly asked about modern apprenticeships. If he's got all the information about everything else right. except modern apprenticeships, it's a bit strange. I think order, no order. Well, the member actually should know that actually he doesn't interject during a point of order, especially a point of order by his leader. The, uh, the, the Leader of the Opposition is correct. His question asked specifically about modern apprenticeships, and if the Prime Minister had that figure, it would be helpful, but I think he's indicated he doesn't have it. So, therefore, that should be the end of the answer. The Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker. 
Isn't Fran O'Sullivan right on the unemployment stats when she says, quote, for Key to simply shrug his shoulders on this score doesn't cut it. We owe it to the young people who are yet to even get on the employment ladder to be less ostrich-like as a nation. And when, when, when he, will he change track to grow jobs? The right uh, three, three things. Firstly, when it comes to young people, uh, the government is engaged in a number of activities to support young people, and that includes things like the 90-day probation period, youth minimum wage, certainly help make them more attractive in the workforce. Secondly, making sure their educational skills are better is critically important, and we know that was something the Labor government didn't care about. Making sure that we have a number of programmes for them is critically important. We've been doing that through whether it's youth guarantee or whatever it might be. Secondly, we know the Labor Party is not to be believed when it comes to youth unemployment, because in the weekend, Megan Woods was out there telling people that a quarter of all young people were unemployed, factually incorrect. And the third thing I'd say is I don't know whether the member saw, because he wants to quote Fran O'Sullivan, the standard yesterday uh, afternoon, but on the standard yesterday afternoon, it said, if Fran O'Sullivan comes out and endorses David Shearer, it'll be the kiss of death. Well, guess what was in the Herald this morning? <laughs> the Leader of the Opposition. Is, order. Is, order, I've called the Leader of the Opposition. Is the Prime Minister aware that modern apprenticeships have gone down on his watch, and why isn't he aware of that? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, because they've gone into a variety of other different courses. Question number three, Maggie Barrett.